Welcome friends. This is your friend Rakesh. Today I am going to talk about a tax function that is start of month. In our business scenarios where at times we need to calculate starting date of the month and Microsoft has provided a very easy function that is start of month to complete that requirement. But when we use it we need to make sure few things that is a must to have in a model. But few users, few developers do not know what are those requirements. So I'm going to talk about those requirements and in which scenario we should not use start of month tax function. And what is the alternate to that? I will explain you in this video. So let's get started. Here I have created a dummy data. I have few dates starting from 1st Jan 21 and it is ending at 26th so let's create a new column i simply type start of month function and i simply add this date into my calculation at this moment i am using table date 2 means i am creating a calculated column in table date 2 table so table date 2 i'll take this date and when i simply press enter you see that it has calculated the start date of the month. So it seems okay and it seems that it is calculating correct. And we can move ahead with this. But here is a catch that I will show you. If I just change this scenario from this demo data to another demo data that I have created at the top. Yes. In this table, I again use that function and this time I will show you what are the issues you will see when you use start of month tax function. I will use date again and this time I am taking date from that my first table that is date table. When I press enter, you will see that for 11th June, it is not returning 1st June. Instead, it is returning 11th June. It is happening in all the June dates. Similarly, it is also happening in July as well. You can see that. In August, it is also happening that. In September, it is also happening that. So it means for this requirement, we cannot use, I mean to say, when we have a data wherein start date of the month is not given. I mean, in my table, if I do not have a date table, I mean, I do not have a date column wherein start of the month is not given, it is not going to return in the start of the month. So as you can see in our example, in the date column, as the 11th June was the first day in, in this month and in this year, right? So that's why this is being treated as a first day in the context and that's why it is returning 11th June in all June 2020 as you can see over here. This is also happening in July 2020 wherein 3rd July is being taken as a first day in the current context. It is also happening in August then in September in October also. So this is the problem. That's why I am saying we should not use start of month. Now, why it was returning the correct value in the table date 2. Let's go back to that table again. Now, if you see over here in my this table, right? If you see in the January 2020, first Jan is the first day, right? It means I have a first day of the month available in my date column. That's why system is taking first day out of it and treating this as a first day of the month and populating this particular day in that particular month right if you see over here it is populating that similarly in case of fab it is also repeating that and returning me first fab what i mean to say is in if you want the first day of the month as per the calendar you need to make sure that in your date column you have the first date available in the date column if that is missing 
the smallest date available in that particular month will be treated as the first day or the start of the month as per the start of month function now what is the alternate of this means how we can handle this scenario there are two solutions to it first solution is you need to make sure that in your date table or uh, in your date column you have the first day of the month this is the first solution if in the second solution if you do not have the first day of the month available in your date date column you need to use a different logic that i am going to explain you in this table let's create a simple tax function first we will simply use this date let's me let me take that so at this moment i am at the table date so i simply use this date and i will simply minus day from this day what am i doing is i am simply referencing this this date over here taking the day out of this day date using day function and simply adding one so if i do this i will simply get the first day of the month so i in order to calculate the first day of a particular month i do not need to rely on start of the month function so with this we have discussed why we should not use start of the month function and what are the alternate to start of the month i hope you like the video you can find the link in the description as well as this pbix